This is the Work Smart Hypnosis podcast session number 287, Howard's Marketing Epiphany. Welcome to the Work Smart Hypnosis podcast with Jason Lynette, your professional resource for hypnosis training and outstanding business success. Here's your host, Jason Lynette. Hey, it's Jason Lynette here and welcome to the program. And you might have noticed we had a special guest do the pre-roll there. And Howard Cooper, how are you? I'm great. I'm really good. It's, uh, it's wonderful to be here again. Again, I know. And outstanding previous episodes, including more of, you know, the sort of backstory, the origin story aspect of it. One of my favorite episodes ever named Howard Cooper Ruins a Magic Trick and uh, connecting with you again for Howard's Marketing Epiphany and the perfect timing of this just to set the stage for everything we're about to just jump into and chat about. We've kind of changed the format just for the month of August 2020, coming at you with a lot of solo episodes about the restructuring of my business, giving you some strategies to restructure yours. And if only like last week, Howard and I connected for a call to chat through some things that he's working on to then realize, oh, wait, what he's doing right now is completely reinforcing everything that we've been chatting about here. So, Howard, for those of you that might not yet know you, could you give a quick intro to yourself for those to for those to meet you? For sure, yeah. So, Howard Cooper, I bill myself as a rapid change consultant and hypnotherapist. And really, the way I look at myself is, I, or the, certainly the line that I give to clients and prospects, is that I spent 18 years developing and practicing and coming across as many rapid change methodologies as I could come across, so that I'm more likely to have something that's going to help the person sitting in front of me. Um, I take on the idea that therapy needs to be this week in, week out model, where change takes a long time. I think it's outdated. And I want to help bring the message that rapid change can happen out there. So a lot of the stuff that I do is all about working with anxiety, fears, phobias, depression, stopping smoking, habits and addictions, and really selling the idea that change can happen quickly. And that's what uh, first through the Rapid Change Matters podcast first led me and you to connect. And we've been uh, hopping on like this ever since. Exactly. Yeah. Which check out that podcast. Absolutely. And then a number of training programs available over it. Howard's website, including one that we did together with Dan Candell, which we'll link to that in the show notes at worksmarthypnosis.com. So we've been talking at times over the years around the structure of your business, whether it's, you know, hosted trainings and infiltrating appropriately Facebook marketing, though there's some things that you've put into place immediately. And that was the sound of Howard banging his own hand on his own desk, by the way. Please do not edit that out. I wish it's you all fine. Had the <laughs> I wish you all had the visual that I had. It was remarkable. And that was a rapid change. See how I did that? Yeah. So there's, uh, could you walk us through sort of the bigger picture aspect of what you've been plugging into your business of seeing clients and building that global brand the last couple of months? Yeah. So I've always been interested in processes, always been interested in how can I streamline things, but I've also been a little bit too short term focused in the past. Mm -hmm. So very much, you know, I loved the idea and I would read stuff about marketing and processes or, you know, having processes where client contacts you, I have a 15 minute initial chat with them, I then send them out an email, and all of this stuff might be standardized or templated and so on and so forth. But I, I, I've heard you talk about this idea of set it and forget it before and gone, yeah, 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 it makes sense. But right now, Right now, this person needs this email. And to set up a whole back system, back end, whole doodah with technology that I might not be familiar with right now seems like a big ask. And I just need to send this one email. So I'll just send that one email. And I probably spent, if I'm very honest, many, many years just sending that one email, having to do the same email repeatedly and do the same things over and over again. And actually, a couple of months ago, when I had a bit more time after, there's something going around, I've heard. Ker, 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 Corona? Yes, Corona. It might catch uh, on. It might catch on, yeah, which has given me a little bit more time to stop and kind of take a step back and re-examine everything that I was doing from a business perspective and say, okay, if, and here was the question that I asked myself, if I could throw everything out, just everything and start from scratch with a blank canvas, what ideally would I want to have? How ideally would it work? And the reality of it was is that there was no world where ideally I'd be sending out the same email myself repeatedly <laughs> and doing the same mundane tasks repeatedly. 
And I started looking at what are the solutions out there. And there are, I was inundated with, I couldn't believe how many things that there were that did, would automate processes. So I yeah. signed up to a thing called Kartra after doing a lot of research and looking at things like Leap and Infusionsoft. I know they're kind of the same people now. Yeah, there's, the, there's the beauty and, that there's so many tools that are out there. And you know, I forget if I've mentioned this in one of the recent episodes in the series that I've started using ClickFunnels. But really using it more so for a you know productivity shortcut that we're migrating a bunch of websites. And by utilizing ClickFunnels, now some of those sales pages are hosted. And I'm using it for both WorkSmart Hypnosis as well as Virginia Hypnosis. But that allowed me to put my sales on an external page, which meant my sites could then continue to be updated. And the external stuff was then untouched. So that's why I was using that. But th this was the catch that I ran into was that there's so many tools that still have to talk to a little bit of everything else. So you've done really well utilizing one. Well, and what I liked about it, it was an all-in-one kind of package, which integrated some calendar functionality, as well as web building and marketing funnels. And it was funny because I always told myself that I couldn't afford that. They always seem very expensive, you know, because guess what? I already pay, you know, 18 pounds a month for my existing calendar appointment stuff. And I already pay, I have a customer relationship management system on my Mac called Daylight, which I, I was using for years. And I pay a subscription to that each month. And, and I have my email marketing provider, which is separate and I pay already. So how can I take on something else? And then it, it was like, it suddenly realized I don't have to take on something else entirely because this one thing can do all the other stuff so I can get rid of the other things. So by signing up to Kartra, um, one of the benefits is I'm actually saving money because it's doing everything under one roof, and it all plays together really, really nicely. Well, it plays together nicely. There's one little nuance of something that we, we spoke about before, which is that, and I want you all to hear this before I say it and make a judgment on it, that there's a funny little glitch in the way that it's built that makes it difficult for Howard. It doesn't make it difficult for the user. And that, what was it? You had to set up the calendar system in my time zone <laughs> here in the New York City, Washington, D.C., Eastern Daylight Time, when meanwhile, you are very clearly not around these parts. For the user, for the user, it recognizes where they're logging in from and puts the time zone in their time. But here's the catch. That would be a place where so many people would go, oh, but this isn't going to work for me. And they'd bow out. You embrace that. Here's this one funky little thing, which I'm sure enough people are going to complain about that you know, in the cart reforms that they're going to fix that eventually. That they are going to fix it, for sure. And I'm seeing those movements. Right. Those are those things that don't tend to be long term. And, you know, here's this funky little thing that we used to have to deal with in Infusionsoft. And enough of us requested it. That's what I use. Enough of us requested it. And then they gave it to us. But again, this is where I want to highlight that moment, because that's one where so many would go, this isn't going to work for me. And it became, OK, so here's this. Well, let's automate the email. Here's this annoyous, annoying little tedious task I have to do once. But now that I've done it once, I don't have to do it again. That what you just said, that is the beauty. That's what I fell in love with because I, I realized I spent years doing the same thing repeatedly. And in about two hours of playing around with Kartra, I had basically built automated systems that did everything that I've been doing manually. And now it just runs. So, you know, I, I, I kind of log in sometimes and just look and I go, oh, look, I, I sent out emails to chase paperwork. I've got paperwork back. It stops sending the emails to chase them. It's sending out reminders about my appointments. It's sending out uh, reminders over 50 minute initial chats that I'm going to do. It's checking to see have they uh, signed up with me yet or have they bought something yet? And oh, no, they haven't. So it will then prompt them and remind. And there's just thousands of email communications going out from me every month and I haven't done anything. Yeah, um, it's it's marvelous. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic. This this is where I can now reveal the moment where people would call me up to go, "Hey, Jason, I just got your email," and I have to hold back from going, "Which one?" Yep. That you know, th there's systems that are built on again two different sides of the business for me. There's Virginia Hypnosis, the seeing of clients, and then there's Work Smart Hypnosis, the the training aspect of it in the podcast. And I mean, there's an example of we we had this chat about programming emails to come out at times that look as if they're seemingly random about the email will come out at 1 30 and then two days later it'll send out again at 10 45 in the morning and then a few days later it'll come to you at 7 30 in the evening and it's not that i'm 
It's not that I've tested and seen which times work better, though I have. It's that you don't know for that one specific person which time will be the better fit. And I, I have a sequence right now that if somebody takes one training, 82 days later, if the system can then tell you don't have the other training, it'll then give you an invite to start to gather information and build the rapport with that other product to then eventually make that offer. The same as you mentioned for Virginia Hypnosis, that you know the client now pays for the stop smoking session which then immediately sends them into the sequence to get them to schedule themselves, which then immediately last week episode was position yourself at the end of the funnel. So they pay for the process because the website has sold it to them. Then from there, it automates, go ahead and schedule your appointment. Only then gives them the opportunity to now actually then fill out the forms, which at that point gives me the calendar reminder to call the person. So we can flip the dynamic of our business where now I'm not doing that phone consult with someone to then decide whether or not they want to buy the service. I'm doing that phone consult now with someone who's already decided to do it and paid in full for it. That's a whole lot better of a place to be living. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. And what it's done, like automating a lot of the stuff that I was doing and it was, it was eating up my time to do, it's given me time to start building stuff that keeps giving back. And to build products. And I mean, I, I kept saying, oh, well, I just don't have time. How, how can I have time to create an online product that I could sell because I'm so busy sending these flipping emails to people? And it's like, no, no, <laughs> let that do that. And now I've got more time. Now, there's one specific thing I wanted to highlight here, which is that there's a real time quality of testing that we bring to this to see what's working right now and what's going to bring in the income. Because there is a dance between I can see that client on this specific day and let's bring in the business and get paid for it. But then again, I can block off, an example would be today, I'm in my home basement office right now, thus the lovely, uh, is that mauve color walls, salmon? Mauve. Mauve, mauve. yeah. I'm, I'm from the UK, you know. Niche. Yeah. Niche. <laughs> that would be niche. I think Watch it. Find. Watch yeah. it. So anyway, yeah, so today's a day which is just about content creation and but it's the investment of time today that's then going to pay off a bigger dividend in the future. But you have employed a kind of really cool real-time testing phase, which is that depending on your calendar that week, correct me on this, you're directing people from one specific opt-in offer either to schedule time to work with me or buy this product. Can you, can you chat a bit on that? Mm, yeah, well, it, it, it kind of came about by accident, really which is I created an opt-in about help people with anxiety, which has hugely built my list. And I've been really impressed with that with three emails, giving three video tips. The intention always originally had been, I was going to segue after the three emails into a bunch of emails that would then sell them on an online anxiety program, but I hadn't built it yet. So I was like, ah, I haven't built the program, the anxiety program yet, but I've got this like the beginning of the sequence, which I'll do something with. Well, why not send them towards seeing me? So I wrote, like spent a couple of hours, wrote a bunch of emails and automated the sequence so that people sign up and then it encourages them to have an initial chat with me to see if I can help. And that was working really, really well. People were ringing me and I'm getting, I'm winning business. And this was, I was like, wow, that this is working really well. And while that's on the fly and going on, I then created the online anxiety program, launched that and thought, well, hang on, I got people signing up at the initial phase. I'm just going to send them over. And instead of coming to see me, can I turn this into passive income? So flip them over. So I, I redirected them over to get the emails about selling the online anxiety program. But I'm going to be honest with you, it's while that was going on, not huge amounts of people were buying. So meanwhile, my inquiries for one on one work are going down. I'm thinking, OK, this sucks. Well, but I went back and looked at the figures and I start playing around. And we talked about this as well and played around with how can we make this better? How can we move this around? But I suddenly thought, well, hang on a second. While I'm playing around and getting the email structure better or the course better so that it will sell more effectively, it's like turning on a tap. I can just literally take the same set of people that are already signing up and just redirect them into getting the emails about coming and signing up to see me face to face. And I did. And it was it's the first time, which I would argue is an absolute epiphany of like, I feel like I have a tap that I can just go ding. And then my phone starts going people start booking calls with me. 
which to give everybody the visual representation of this, which what you have, and again, all of these platforms, my, my opinion now, all of these platforms work. It's a matter of getting in there and figuring out which one you like best and then just using the heck out of it. So I'm, you know, a user of Infusionsoft, which the the nature of what they have with mine of what's called the campaign builder, and this is going to sound familiar. You're not going to see it, but Howard's already nodding. Yay, audio podcast, which is the nature that it's icons on a screen. And to do what I do in mine is I detach the arrow connecting point A to po point B to then make the arrow now point from point A to point C. So if I wanted the opt-in sequence to go to a product, it points to the product side. If I want it to then instead go to client side, that's an option too. In mine, I have the ability to randomize that selection <laughs> and do a bit of a blind split test that based on when someone comes in, it can pick and choose which one they go to. And there's different if-then factors you can then plug in, which is, I, I would say, unless you're selling a scalable million dollar a year product, is more just out of curiosity. I think you need to be in higher numbers to get the real, real value of the split testing. We're a much smaller community, not to say that there's not you know high potential, but even in Howard's with Kartra, it's again, the same thing. Disconnect this arrow, attach it to the other, which means the one that's not currently running, you can then be workshopping, testing, asking, what do I need to better do to educate these people, to educate and inform? So by the time they see the product offer, they go, yeah, this is the thing I want to do. So we can, we can troubleshoot, we can workshop this in real time, which is where I have to quickly talk about Richard Nongard that uh, <laughs> I've told the story on here before that I bought a product from Richard before we really knew each other. And it was a mechanism with Google ads, which was that you used to be able to buy unused radio and newspaper space through Google. And Richard was just virtually printing money with this feature. And he put out an amazing, amazing two DVD set talking about exactly how that worked. And the day that mine arrived, I got an email. For, I got a call actually from Richard. I, I had never talked to him. And just suddenly there's that voice and he's calling me and it's him going, Google discontinued that service. Sorry. I've got a box of DVDs that I'm throwing out. You paid a hundred bucks for it. Find something on subliminalscience.com. That's like 300 or less. And, you know, we'll send you that instead or refund you. So the problem with the digital video product, the DVD, was once it was published, it was done and set. In our digital era, you can hear how Howard is constantly tweaking and refining what's there in that system based on the real-time feedback. Absolutely. And one of the things that used to hold me back, I think, is like, can I create the perfect product? Can I? How do I write the perfect email? And then I realize it doesn't exist. And what I can do is just write one and create something and then see what happens. And then tweak, then change, you know, and it will grow and develop over time. But so many people are trying to aim for perfection that they end up getting nothing done. Right. And the real beauty of it is, is that not everybody is looking at your information in a spot where they can make a buying decision, which is the most polite way to say they're looking at their phone on the toilet. So this is that value of staying top of mind, continuing to add more value and keeping up that consistency of the messaging of send the next email a few days later as the polite reminder. Yeah. So then looking at the shape of this, are there other things you're looking to streamline in the nature of your business? Everything. Yeah. <laughs> everything. I want to streamline everything. In fact, the idea of having to do stuff, it, for me, it's like I only want to do stuff if I'm going to be able to reuse it repeatedly. Every time I'm doing something, I'm asking myself, is this something that I'm doing right now as a one-off? Or am I ever likely to do this again? Because I could build something, set it and forget it. You know, I know I've done countless podcasts now, and that's why this is not even live. This is just a recording of me that I recorded once. And whenever anyone wants to podcast with me, you know, you just selected which responses you'd want. And that's what you're getting now. I'm not even live. I'm right now. I'm on a golf course, like just <laughs> ha having fun. Well, it goes back to Tim Ferriss for our work week. As you approach every single task, ask yourself, how do I do this once? Jason Lynette here once again, and as always, thank you so much for interacting with this program. And Howard, you're still here though, right? I'm still here. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, this is the part where usually we plug something, which for more business insight, of course, you can check out hypnoticbusinesssystems.com. If you want more of the hands-on, you know, do it with you work, you can check out the private consulting that I offer. Though, Howard, let's share the stage here. Again, how can people best get in contact with you? 
they can go to rapidchange.works and there they will see a whole host of really cool resources. So not just a podcast interviewing, obviously, some of the leading therapists and change workers, as well as yourself, Jason, but they will also find online trainings where they can get access to some of the cutting edge methods for helping clients change. So if anyone's really curious, then head over to rapidchange.works and you will find a whole host of really cool resources that will help you take your change work to the next level. Thanks for listening to the Work Smart Hypnosis podcast at worksmarthypnosis.com. Hey there, it's Jason, and I want you to be one of the first to find out as we upload amazing new content. So do this right now. Click the subscribe button right here on this video. That's going to link you to our YouTube channel here, and you will be the first to find out as new resources and downloads are made available. Do it now.